I mean, you always can say we could play better, right? And honestly, we could. We can. Myself and everybody down the line wish they had some shots back that they would normally make. The Boston Celtics couldn't get it done during crunch time against the San Antonio Spurs. The Seas dug themselves into a hole early in the game, but were able to fight their way back from a 24-point deficit. And with 8-17 left to go, the Seas took their first lead of the game and built a seven-point lead, only for the Spurs to hold the Seas scoreless in the final three minutes to close out with a 96-88 victory. In postgame, the team emphasized how they need to be better at the start of games. And that's something that we, we have to be better at it from the start of games. Um, in the beginning of games, we have to come out with a, that more umph and punch the other team in the mouth. A lot of times we take that first punch and we're great at responding. We're a great counter punch team. But imagine if we were able to knock somebody out in the first round and then continue to knock them out throughout if they keep getting up. And that's something we have to be better at because like we said, we get big leads and then we take our foot off the gas. Or we start off the game and then we come back in it. Like we're not ever that team that next thing you know you look up and then dang, it went from 20 to 40 just like that. I think especially early, we were shooting what, 20%? We had a lot of kickout shots. A lot of missed floaters, bunnies, jump shots. Uh, I mean, you always can say we could play better, right? And honestly, we could, we can. Could we make a lot more shots, a lot more easy ones? Myself or everybody down the line wish they had some shots back that they would normally make. That answer would be yes as well. Came out, looked like everybody's taking turns, trying to get baskets and you know, obviously very slow, sluggish, and, and stagnant. We talked about at halftime, it wasn't really defensively. They had 52 points, but we were just shooting so poorly that even the open looks we got, we missed, but it was a lot of isolation one-on-one -on -one there instead of movement. Now, Josh Richardson and Rob Williams were both out for tonight's matchup because of non-COVID-related illnesses. And the plan is that Richardson is actually going to rejoin the team tomorrow ahead of the Raptors matchup on Sunday. As for Rob Williams, he is a little further behind schedule and the team is monitoring him right now. They'll find out more about his status as the days go on. Udoka said that he is hopeful that he will be able to rejoin the team, but he is two to three days behind in terms of where Richardson is currently at.